Victoria, British Columbia is one of the best places to visit in Canada. It has stunning beaches, warm lakes, cool historic sites, and iconic attractions, which makes for a great vacation for families. In this video, we will give you some awesome things to do with your family. Welcome to our nine must-see iconic sites in Victoria, BC. If your family likes a variety of food, then you'll want to venture down to Fisherman's Wharf. This is a cool floating market with a bunch of food kiosks where you can eat fish and chips, tacos, pizzas, burgers, and ice cream. You also get to see colorful floating homes while eating. It's really cool. This is actually a floating house with water and docks. Pretty nice house. Take a kayak tour or grab a water taxi and explore Victoria's Inner Harbor. The next great place to take your family is the Butterfly Gardens. This super fun family attraction is so much more than what the name suggests. Queen? I don't know. It's you definitely- You said that's the boss. That's the boss. I'm not a bug person, but this is cool. I've never seen a stick bug before. <laughs> We've got the uh, Kermit Hab here. <laughs> Kermit Crab. It includes so many cool insects, including butterflies, also tropical birds, poison dart frogs, tortoises, turtles, iguana, ducks, and a flamingo. Once inside the garden, it will feel like you've entered the warm tropics with a bunch of friendly animals. One bird will even land on your shoulders. Hi! You've got a friend there! I do! Whoa! <laughs> Sorry guys, it only prefers ladies' shoulders. It's only a 30 minute drive or 45 minute bus ride from downtown Victoria. If you love walking to spectacular views of the ocean, art, and slides, then the Malahat Skywalk is for you. All right, we're at the Malahat Skywalk here. Just tip on getting into the Malahat is to say that you're five years old and it's free. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. What? Oh. Well, you're five years old. Yeah, you're five years old today. To get to the view, you walk 600 meters along a raised boardwalk through beautiful arbutus trees. Along the way, you will see driftwood sculptures of wild animals. A sculpture of a mountain lion made out of like, it looks like wood. Kind of cool. Once you get to the Malahat Skywalk, you will walk up a spiral ramp to the top, which is 32 meters high, overlooking a cliff to the ocean. At the top, you can enjoy the view at the top of the, the Malahat. And look at this view. It's amazing. Or walk on netting to give yourself a little thrill. When you're done, you can choose to walk down, or you can do as we did and take the slide down. I don't, I don't want to go. I'm scared. Okay, see you at the bottom. No. All right, I think I'm going to die. This is a fun time for the whole family. It's only a 35 minute drive from downtown Victoria. Some days, don't you just feel like you're just walking in circles? Circles, it's round and round. <laughs> Oak Bay is a picturesque community on the southeast edge of Victoria. It has two golf courses, a marina, shopping village, and the famous Willows Beach. If you love boats, then Oak Bay Marina is a great spot to walk the docks see some wildlife, rent kayaks, go fishing, sailing, and have brunch. Oak Bay Village is a cool shopping street. This street is full of boutique shops, bistros, restaurants, coffee shops, and bakeries. It makes you feel like you're in a small town. So Jaden, so excited to come to this place called Will Willow's Gallery or Galley? Yeah, Willow's Gallery. I'm always in the background. I think it's Willow's Hello. Galley, like fishing. Oh yeah, Willow's Galley. It's a fish and chips place. What's good here? The soft serve ice cream. The soft serve And what flavors do they have? Vanilla and chocolate. Mmm. Oh, that is good. Yeah, you're right. This is really good. You actually got something right. And if you feel like hitting the beach afterwards, Willow's Beach is one of the nicest beach Victoria has to offer. You can spend the whole day here. If you want to see some great views of the ocean, Ogden Point and Clover Point are great spots for this. Ogden Point Pier is a cement structure located in James Bay on the southwest corner of Victoria along Dallas Drive. The walk takes about 30 to 45 minutes to walk to the lighthouse and back. This is a great spot to see cruise ships, ferries, sailboats, and float planes. If you're lucky, you may even see seals. It's a long walk, definitely worth it. Check this out. Pretty nice. Just a short five minute drive down Dallas Road is Clover Point. 
This is a great place to walk along the ocean, and on windy days you will see kite flyers, hang gliders, kite surfers, and windsurfers. It's also a great place to catch the beautiful sunsets in Victoria. Next, we recommend you visit Canada's oldest Chinatown. It's over 150 years old and was settled by Chinese immigrants seeking to find their fortune in gold. We're at the entrance to the oldest uh, Chinatown in Canada, here in Victoria. Who knew? Um, it's really cool. It's called the Gate of Harmonious Interest. And they actually say there's a time capsule in each of the outer pillars of it to be opened in 2081 and 2096. One of the most interesting things about Victoria's Chinatown is Fantan Alley. This alley is the narrowest street in Canada, and it was originally a gambling district with restaurants, shops, and opium dens. Chinatown is a must-see as there's lots of cool shops, cafes, and restaurants to explore. Just a short walk from Chinatown is Victoria's Inner Harbour. This harbour is always bustling with activity in summer, such as buskers, food kiosks, and people selling lots of things. There's great places to eat, such as the famous Redfish Bluefish restaurant. So I just finished eating at the Redfish Bluefish. Pretty good food. Uh, for the price, it was like $5.50 for uh, tacon. And I had the albacore tuna tacoma, which is albacore tuna in a fish sauce in a flour tortilla. And then um, Marco had a salmon version of the same thing, and the kids had fish and chips, and it was really delicious. Um, highly recommend it. I think we ended up waiting about 45 minutes, but uh, it's okay. We have a spectacular view out here. How do you get married? That's okay. They just kissed me on the lips somehow. And then you get married? Yeah. While there, you will have to check out the Empress Hotel, the Parliament Buildings, and the Royal BC Museum. You can spend the whole day down here just exploring. If you're a history buff, then you'll love the two castles in Victoria. Built in 1908 is Hatley Castle. We are at Hatley Castle. I don't know much about it, but it's got lots of stones and a flag on it. It was owned by a former premier of British Columbia, James Dunsmuir. Over the years, it's been used as a dormitory and a military mess hall. Now it's the Mint Center for the Royal Roads University. And they got these beautiful gardens here. In a castle, you gotta have a garden, right? It has three beautiful gardens, which include a rose garden, Italian garden, and a Japanese garden. Best thing about visiting this castle? It's free. Built in 1887 to 1890 is the Keg Durat Castle, which was originally owned by coal mining businessman Robert Dunsmuir, James Dunsmuir's father. The castle is a national historic site and sits on a hill overlooking Victoria. One of Victoria's most beautiful parks is Beacon Hill Park. This beautiful 200 acre park is a great place to spend the day. It's located at Mile Zero, which is the end point for the Trans Canada Highway. We're at Beacon Hill Park, and this is like if you come up to the top of the hill, this is the view you get. Like, this is pretty spectacular. You have to check out Beacon Hill Park. It has a tall totem pole originally built in 1956. The Moss Lady, which is a cool statue of a woman lying down covered with moss. A children's farm with foreign animals and flowers are everywhere to enjoy. There's also a lot of restaurants and cafes and shops which surround the park. We're here, Beacon Drive-In. I used to come here as a kid, it's like, I don't know, eight years old. I used to get like this big soft ice cream cones that like be the size of my head. And I remember they would fall off and I'd cry and stuff. But bringing my kids here and uh, they're gonna tell us if they like it as much as I did. So what'd you get there? What flavor is that? Green apple. How's yours? It looks really good. It's milk chocolate. Yum. Yum. This park is within walking distance of downtown Victoria. These are just a few of the iconic sites Victoria, British Columbia has to offer. If you're looking for a more detailed list of places to see, things to do, and want to save time on researching and planning your trip, then consider purchasing our Victoria travel guides. The links will be in the description or you can watch our many other videos on Victoria and Vancouver Island. And oh yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and click that like button for more fun videos.